So I don't know if you can tell a difference in my uh, my focus and my energy level after having worked uh, however long it is, schlepping, moving, cooking, chopping, stirring, you know, all that stuff, moving dirts, putting piles away. I'm fine. I'm fine. And the only thing I can tell you that is different is what we've brought into the house and put on the bed and the way, the way that I'm wearing cotton during the day. Now, I want to tell you about the cotton. Here's, I believe, the ideology or maybe the science or my theory of what goes on, why I've moved to cotton. Because, would you quit it? Because once you sleep in linen or wool, a frequency of 5,000, and you've gotten your body to increase its frequency in harmony or closer to the frequency of the cotton or the linen, then you get up in the morning and then you put a dead product on. What's dead? Polyester, rayon. Polyester uh, is never alive. Never alive. Did and you it has, ever go to the zoo and see a polyester? And it has a frequency of zero. It has a frequency of a flat zero. Then after you've gotten up out of the bed and you've slept at this 5,000 frequency and you put on a zero frequency, you begin to undo what you did. With cotton, and I'm trying, trying, I don't have, can't say that I know I have all organic cotton. As I replace what I wear, I will try either to make or to buy organic cotton on sale or however I, you know, cheap. I'm cheap. you got to know me. That's why I'm out cutting greens is because I don't like to spend money. Anyway, when you put that on, that's the frequency of a healthy body. So at that point, you're not lowering your frequency of your body below a healthy frequency. So you're able to maintain what your body has achieved by being plugged into a 5,000 frequency. And all, all, according to what I've read and what I've studied, all the 5,000 frequency does, it's not the frequency that heals per se. It gives your body what it needs to make the changes. Now, we are talking from Bible-based concepts. Don't mix linen and wool. You can't. The frequencies cancel each other out. One goes left, one goes right, or one goes up, one goes down. And then you get a zero. And you got a zero, so you can't do it. Right. Does the Bible speak of cotton? I don't think so. Bible doesn't speak of cotton, I don't think. No, I, I don't see. Well, I'll do some research this weekend, and I'll tell you if I can find anything so, about cotton. So, Bible speak wise, wool is okay and yep. linen is okay, yep. just so they're segregated. You must run an apartheid wardrobe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Wool for you. Look, you're not going to wear wool. You might wear some some really 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 lightweight wool. Like I suppose you can get that these days. Gabardine. But, but you're you not going to wear in the hot summer a wool. You are going to sweat. Linen breathe, so it's only logical. Uh, now, uh, so you probably want a summer wardrobe and a, and a winter wardrobe. And um, I'm not even telling you that you cannot wear your nylon jacket. What I would tell you to do is to wear your wool or your linen against your skin, put the cotton on top of that, and then put your uh, nylon jacket, your, 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 your outside jacket, your rain slicker, your whatever, on top of the, ca the, the, the cotton, the furthest away from your body, okay? So you're not actually in contact with your body or the, or the wool or the linen you're wearing. Uh, that seems to work really well. What we've done is we put a lot of cotton down on the mattress, our mattress, because uh, it's not something, it's a synthetic, of course, all mattresses are synthetic unless you've bought a cotton and wool mattress that are a bazillion dollars like you see sold. Your, your mattress is synthetic. And uh, so we put a lot of cotton down as an insulation. <laughs> then we have our uh, linen sheets on top of that. And we did the reverse when we did the wool. Uh, in that case, I put down several layers of those wool blankets, and I put the cotton on top of that, and that's how we slept. But we kept all of the synthetics as far away from us as we could get. And I'm still taking those antibiotics, so it's not going to be 
apparent with me until I come off the antibiotics. I think I got three days. However, you're resting really well. Yeah, I do sleep pretty hard. Yeah. yeah, I got about three days more of those things to do. Yeah, and then I'll be finished with them. I want to run the whole cycle of them. You know, I don't like the things, but if you do it, do it the way they tell you to do it. I suppose. Yeah. So that's what we wanted to update you with. Um, I like this, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, you know, I, it's a little early to say, but this may be why Sarah and Abraham were so vital so late in life, who knows, you know? Uh, but it's, uh, I, I like the way I feel. I feel like I've uh, turned the clock back several years. A parent's big deal. As long as I've got health and I can keep going and I can be active. So if I look 60, so what? I don't care. How do I feel? Where's my energy level? What am I doing with my day? Uh, I've got it. I can go and uh, it's, it feels great. It really feels great. 